needed to get out of those cornfields of Iowa, done. And went to New York when I was 17. Became professional at 19. And I've been at it for, well, you can do the math, or shall we skip that part? <laughs> Captain Catherine Janeway of the Federation Starship Voyager. It was a very fortunate thing for me that when I was auditioning for Janeway, I was not aware of the magnitude of this, I would call it a, a culture of Star Trek. I was only and myopically, and thanks be to God Almighty and his glory and goodness, concentrating on, on at, the, who, at that time, Elizabeth Janeway. They've now retitled her Catherine Janeway. And that's a good thing because I didn't let, there were, there were no other intrusions into that process for me. Who's not aware of Star Trek? You'd have to be in an absolute paper bag not to be, uh, not to know about it. However, it was peripheral knowledge. In no way did I find myself connected to it. I certainly was not a trekker by any stretch of the imagination. And uh, neither was I a science fiction buff. If anything, I would say I was to, to the reverse. Uh, so when it, the audition process came about, and they expressed some interest in me. I thought it was fascinating uh, and, and actually quite clever of Rick Berman. He said, here are the sides. Take a look at them. We're looking for a female captain. I said, captain of what? <laughs> he said, of the starship. We've never had a female captain before. I said, why not? <laughs> so I went home and I came back and uh, it was a very, uh, Interesting and pleasant audition, but as you well know, I didn't get the part Jean-Vier Bougeot did. And she lasted a day and a half, I believe. And then they brought back in about five of us, I think, that they had liked. Um, I remember standing up with, in the company of four other really remarkable actresses, so I knew that I was in great company. And all I remember thinking in the room, Don, was with all those suits in there, everybody and their mother, looking intensely serious, was, um, I'm just going to create this character as I see fit. I'm, I thank my lucky stars that I have never watched Star Trek. I am in no way familiar with it, and therefore I am not stamped by it. So I think that's, if anything, was the winning ticket for them. They saw a, 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 an absolutely fresh approach to it. It was a scene with Tuvok, a very comfortable, familiar scene, which I liked very much. When I get everybody lost in the Delta Quadrant, her wonderful monologue, We are lost in an uncharted part of the galaxy. An uncharted part of the galaxy. They gave me a few notes, staring at me. Berman smiling a little bit. Braga very serious. And I really had no clue. I, I, I really didn't. I was delighted, as you can imagine. Somewhere along this journey, we'll find a way back. Mr. Paris? Set a course for home. I mean, it was a stunning thing. I did one once, weeks before the, the final one, went to Europe, came back. This awful thing had happened, and she'd defected, and now they were scrambling. So as I said, they brought in the five of us. And you know, going to network is an appalling uh, system, but it, it, it still stands. And you, you do a knockout one by one. We were all there at the end of the day. Go figure, nobody could, do, nobody could conclude who had won this. So we went home, it was Yom Kippur. The town shuts down, as you know, for this high Jewish holiday. And I gave it up. I just thought, well, probably not. Forward and onward, and it, it meant very little to me. However, when I got home at the end of the second day of the holiday, I was greeted by my sons who screamed at me to answer my, to play my answering machine. And he was on it, and he said, Rick Berman, just wanted to welcome you aboard, Captain. My name is Catherine Janeway, Captain of the Federation Starship Voyager. Now, just make yourself right at home. The neighbors should be here any minute. Oh, why, here they are. And action. I was elated. I needed that job. Weapon systems online. I had been, of course, told at that point what it was that I was embarking upon. Red alert that I was about to make television history, that it was unprecedented, a female captain, that I had broken down the door of the boys' club. And uh, it was with no little trepidation, I can assure you, <laughs> that I walked 
onto the set of that bridge the first day because they were all watching. They weren't a bit sure, uh, having suffered what they did with Miss Bougeau, that a woman could constitutionally handle the part. So I, I made up my mind. I determined then and there to do it. And it began probably the most extraordinary chapter of my life. Red alert. It meant, as you can well imagine, just about everything of uh, a great significance at a p time in my life when it was very important. I was 38 or 39 when I took that role. And to be able to play the first female captain and to be able to uh, endow her with the kind of humanity and levity and sensitivity that was crucial to the success for me of this role was a great a joy to me. Great. <laughs> Initiate launching sequence. Sequence underway. Engage. I'd have to say the first day. Uh, that's etched indelibly in my soul and in my brain. Uh, the first time I walked on the bridge, which was a nice sort of panning shot, I'm introduced to each character. I take the captain's seat and say, engage. All the suits were down here. Everybody was here. And my heart was in my throat. And I'll never forget the director, Rick Colby, said to me off stage, uh, the bridge is your living room, so treat it accordingly. You're the boss. I thought, what the hell, here we go. I made up my mind at the outset that I was going to commit totally to Janeway, creatively. Otherwise, it's too, too, um, too difficult, not too hard. The first couple of seasons, I mean, I worked like a dog. It's incredibly demanding physically incredibly demanding intellectually. The missing link and the, and the winning hand for the actress is how to endow it creatively with life. So I gave her a, a secret life that she shared with me, and that was our fun for seven years. We just come and work. Uh, uh, you want to run lines? Yeah. yeah. OK. Um, you want to run lines? Let's see. Uh, uh, Let's run lines then. Okay. Uh, Captain, uh, you wanted to see me? Yes, Mr. Neelix. What face do you think? Yes. You know what I like? I like the eyes, the eyes glazing over at the head. What makes you think? Desperately trying to get that thing going. You deserve it, you 